beauties, welcome to today's video. I am so excited to have you here with me today and to talk to you. I will be talking to you later on in the comments section or actually something that I just started doing with my videos was actually going live kind of like a live chat actually when the video premieres. So I will be sending out reminders on Twitter when this video goes up and you and I are actually going to watch my video together so we can go through the whole journey and the experience. It was so much fun last time that I did it because I got to interact with you guys live and just really hear your feedback as you were watching the video, which was the last one that I did. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about five different ways that reading has empowered me and really truly changed my life for the better. I am so passionate about reading. I've been reading for the past three years now as an avid reader and at the beginning of 2018, I actually started the Sweet Reads book club, but I think I over anticipated what it was going to be and what it would turn out. So I'm just going to take it back a little bit and rail it in and really just take it step by step with each video that I do with reading. So reading is going to be a main thing here on my channel moving forward because I am passionate about that. And a lot of you guys are also very interested in the books that I have been reading that have been changing my life. So I do wanna share, don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to some of the books that I'm reading, which are these, or I'm actually about to start reading these. Um, but I do want to share with you guys some of the books that have been changing my life drastically. And it has been because of all of the reading that I've been doing that I've seen major paradigm shifts happening in my life on a daily basis. So I have to share also this quote that I absolutely loved because I read your comments and I also got a comment from one of my viewers that um, she said, she actually sent me a DM on Instagram and she's like, Dulce, I've been watching you for so many years and I also follow a lot of other YouTubers, but for some reason, you are always getting hate and I can't understand why because I don't see this kind of hate that you get on other people's channel. And I'm sure other people also get, oh, for sure other people get a lot of hate, um, but I, don't really necessarily know why that happens to me. It has always happened to me since I started my YouTube channel. Granted, I don't take part of any controversy. I don't gossip about people. I don't do things for publicity or to get, you know, views or anything like that. So I don't put out negativity into the world at all, um, especially in the internet. And I do my best to have that reflect my real life. So I don't under really understand why. The only thing that I could come to understand is that when, especially when you really start to love who you are, and this is probably a topic for another video, guys, but when you really start to love who you are and you're, you're comfortable in your own skin, it makes people uncomfortable. And just because it makes other people uncomfortable for you to love yourself or for me to love myself, that's not gonna make me stop loving myself. So. With that being said, because I know there was so many crazy comments on my last video, people think they know me, people just so quick to judge. So I, if you are in the same predicament as myself, I want to read this quote to you because it just really resonated with me and reassured me that I need to be, I need to continue to live my life the way that I'm living and say the message that I want to say and spread it to the world, regardless of what anybody says, because when you're on top, Hey, you're gonna experience that. So this quote comes from Preston Miles on Instagram. I follow him because he's super inspirational. Let them judge you. Let them misunderstand you. Let them gossip about you. Their opinions aren't your problem. You stay kind, committed to love, and free in your authenticity. No matter what they say or do, don't you dare doubt your worth or the beauty of your truth. Just keep on shining like you do. Isn't that beautiful? Just keep on shining regardless of what anybody says, stay true to yourself. So that's just my little inspirational quote that I really wanted to share with you guys because I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect for this video that I'm doing today. So let's start off with number one. So many books, 
so little time. One of my favorite quotes also. Don't know who said that, but there's just so many books. I have my iPad filled with books, my library in my house. So many books that I want to get into and I'm always discovering and just getting samples of new ones before I commit to buying them because I already have so many that I need to get into before I buy some new ones. One of the first things that happened to me that is probably the greatest thing that I've ever experienced when it comes to reading and that is that I became an independent thinker. I wasn't taught to be a free thinker growing up and I have to admit that I was actually a sheep. I followed what people said, I believed what people said. If I had, if, if somebody asked me something, I noticed that I didn't have my own opinion on it. So I was easily influenced by what other people would say on certain subjects and basically the world. And I wasn't thinking for myself because I wasn't reading. So my level of awareness was really small. Now, I also grew up in Oxnard, California, and my family didn't have the financial means to um, take us on vacations all over the world. And I remember this one girl in seventh grade, she, oh, I almost remembered her name, but it just like slipped away, but she, oh, Stephanie, there it is, Stephanie Contreras. Oh my gosh, I just totally remember her name. This is like so long ago. Um, but I remember that she went to Vegas and I was like, you went to Vegas? Like, what? That is so cool. Tell me all about it. How awesome that you get to go to Vegas. We're in California and it's just Nevada, but she went to Vegas with her family and she did it more than just once. It was like a thing they did. And I remember just like feeling like, wow, like Las Vegas, that's awesome. So basically the view that I had of life was painted through television or through cartoons. And I remembered when I joined the military and I was stationed in Texas. When I got to Texas, I was like, wait, wait, this is more than just, there's no cowboys? Like there is cowboys, but I, I was just envisioning like, hay rolling through, it's just all desert. There's, you know, I just pictured like the, the cowboys with the, with the hat and like the, you know, like the Western towns is what I envisioned at 18 years old. So I just, I'm saying that because I wanna give you a glimpse as to how sheltered my, my world was growing up. And I was just blown away that there were cities in Texas and that there were, you know, people of color. I didn't see that. I didn't see outside of my little, my little paradigm, my little world. Now, fast forward to today. I love being in conversations with people. Um, just recently, I just came back from this wonderful trip to Mexico with Fresh Beauty. And one of the last nights we had a long, rectangle table which we were all seated at and everybody was just talking and discussing different topics and the old me wouldn't have been able to put in my two cents or put in my point of view and my own thoughts and my own beliefs and I, now today I have very like I have my own thoughts I am an independent thinker I form my opinion based on the research that I do not the experience or what somebody else says it's all based on what I research and what I learn and what I see in the world and that's also something that I'm teaching to my son I teach him to question everything and not just believe what he is told even at school Second thing that changed when I became a reader is that I have more confidence when I'm speaking. And this is something that I struggled with tremendously because I've never been a gifted orator. I know people who have and communicating just comes so natural and so easy to them. And I'm just like, oh, I really wish that that was me. But the truth is that I have to put in so much work when it comes to Speaking and especially when it's a public speaking event or a panel that I'm a part of I have to be fully prepared even if it's something small and this is why I made reading and learning something new every single day something that's helped me tremendously and also with my vocabulary and my writing skills have also improved so I'm able to communicate and articulate my feelings in a way that is really true to what I'm feeling and that was something that I struggled really hard. I had all these thoughts in my brain and when it was time to speak I was like 
I couldn't get them out. I don't know why it was so hard for me. Well, I do know why, because I wasn't reading. Um, but then all that changed. And the thing is that when you start reading, you're really not going to notice any significant changes on a daily basis until there's a moment where your skills are actually going to be tested. Um, last year, uh, at the end of last year, I was presented with an award. And before the award, I had an interview and they asked me questions about the community and about immigration and hard questions that, you know, I can't just answer like I would when it comes to makeup. And it requires a lot of preparation and you also want to make sure that you're saying something that's going to be effective and that is going to be true to what you're feeling, right? So during this interview, um, I of course did have a list of questions that were going to be asked, but the interview lady, she actually decided to almost toss it and started asking me questions based on how the conversation was going. So she started off asking me questions that I was prepared for. And then she sort of just kind of went off the answers that I was giving her. So she threw me a lot of curveballs. I was so impressed at the way that I was able to articulate what I was trying to say. I also prayed that morning and I always pray before any speaking engagement because I want the guidance from God and my angels to really be by my side and help me with the flow of, of my words. I want them to flow easily and actually make an impact and not just speak from my ego, right? But at the end of the interview, she actually said, wow, like I'm, I'm impressed. Like you spoke so eloquently and I just said, thank you. But it was such a great compliment to me because she didn't know how hard I've been working and this is like one of the skills that I'm really trying to master is public speaking. So she didn't know that I was working really hard. So for her to compliment me and say that I spoke eloquently in topics that are actually really hard to discuss really made me so happy. And I just got back and I'm like, I was in such a high from just what happened in that moment. So if you have issues with speaking or really expressing the way that you feel, I really highly recommend that you take up reading whatever it is that you want to read as long as you're actively reading every single day, which is actually not hard to do as long as you schedule it into your schedule. Um, you're going to see a drastic difference and you might not see it overnight, like I said, but when it comes down to it, you're going to be like, wow, like I have really improved. Next, readers are leaders. Oh yes. If you are a leader, if you find yourself in a position of leadership, then you need to be reading and learning as much as you can about whatever field that you are a part of because you want to be one of the most knowledgeable persons in the room, if not the most knowledgeable. That is the goal, okay? I believe Tony Robbins is the one that coined the phrase readers are leaders and I just couldn't agree more. I have been more of a confident leader because of reading. Um, I take up and brush up on skills that I didn't learn in school. I also didn't go to business school, but the fact is that I do run a business. So I have to take it upon myself to teach myself more management skills, more leadership skills, and ways to really be an effective leader. Something that I highly recommend that you guys do if you are trying to maybe launch a business, let's say the cannabis, business, you want to get into it and you want to do something around that, then I would recommend that you go into Google and you type in keywords, for example, cannabis beauty or just cannabis, um, anything that is related to what you want to learn more. That way you get emails sent to your inbox directly anytime, anywhere on the internet, there's an article that actually has substance with the words that you put in as keywords. So cannabis, for example, you want to be reading as much as you can, because like I said, you want to be the most knowledgeable person in the room. Okay. That's going to give you so much confidence. Oh my gosh, this is a big one too, guys. So I just have my journal out here because I am about to talk about paradigm shifts. That is the fourth thing that happened to me when I started reading. And most recently, um, this year, January, um, the end of the year, December, oh my gosh, I was experiencing paradigm shifts on a daily basis. And that is my goal is for that to happen to me 
hopefully on an everyday basis. I want to see the world differently than I did yesterday. So that is why reading has helped me achieve that. Reading is the only thing that really has helped me achieve a different point of view. And a paradigm is just basically like, let me see if I can pull up the actual definition. I believe I did write that in here, guys. The pattern we expect to see, a paradigm could be compared to a window through which we see the world. So if we see the world one way, there's so many different ways to see the world, guys. This is what I realized, so many different ways. I am not going to be like this. I'm not going to have tunnel vision with one vision because I know there's so much more out there that I have no awareness to that by reading, actively reading, I'm actually going to be able to tap into different dimensions, different, different, different points of views, right? And as a rebel that I am, as a rebel that I am, I like to go against the grain and not follow what society has put in place. That is my new thing. I'm going to rebel against what society says that I should be doing or how I should live my life. Who is anybody else? Who is anybody in this world to tell you how you should live your life? You are a soul, an individual soul, and you should live your life however you decide to live it. And you shouldn't need permission or ask permission from anybody to live your own life. Okay, so you do whatever you wanna do because you are in charge of your own life. That is the way that I see it. Oh my gosh, guys, like when I'm reading some new books and I'm, I just get this big aha moment, like a paradigm shift is basically an aha moment. It's seeing the world or a moment differently than you did before, right? So I could be honestly like laying in bed with my iPad, I'm like tired, but I'm still like reading. And then I read something that I'm just like, what? What just happened? I instantly get up, I go to my office, I turn on a little candle, I put on some Native American flute music and I'm just like writing and just learning and just like obsessed with it, guys. That is how like, oh my gosh, it's just like, it's so amazing to see the world in such a different way. Like open your mind, open your eyes and realize that there's so much more and also realize that you don't know anything and be open to learning and expanding and growing. Ooh. And that's truly how a human evolution happens. This is how I've been able to evolve and see myself evolve and become a better person is by these moments of studying. I study this stuff and I take time out of my day. This is actually something that I schedule into my day and into my week is learning. I cannot live my life any other way because I lived it like that for far too long and I had dead set ideas and values and wow, like I was really putting myself in a box. And right now I truly feel like I am waking up and I am outside of this box already. I feel like I'm outside of it and I'm truly living my life with so much more richness. I see everything with more meaning and everything makes life just exciting for me. Even simple little things just excite me, just being alive and just being happy and grateful to be alive, to be able to experience this. Because I really do truly believe that we come into this world as souls so we can evolve from what we didn't evolve from in the past. So I am going to take advantage of the time that I'm here on planet Earth to grow and learn and evolve as much as I can. And it's truly such a wonderful thing that you can do for yourself. Woo, I'm on fire. And that just kind of goes into purpose, which is my next and last um, reason why reading has changed my life because it has given me purpose. It has given me a clear vision of what I want to do in my life. Um, I know that in my last video, I got so many comments of people saying like, oh, like you're so lost. I feel so bad for you. You're just lost. You need this, you need that. Ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy that I was lost because only from being lost is when I truly found myself and I found passion for life again. I didn't have passion three months ago and I know you guys clearly saw that, right? So take pride in that. If you are lost right now, that's okay. That's part of being a human. It's part of being a human. I was not born having it all figured out. I'm basically having to teach myself and you have to take it upon yourself to do this work for yourself. Nobody else is gonna come and save you. Nobody else. Nobody else is gonna save you.
you have to save yourself. Reading is such a powerful tool. I highly encourage anybody that really wants to grow and evolve to read. And you can also listen to audiobooks. That counts too. As long as you're opening your mind and you're working it and your level of awareness is shifting and it's growing, that is so powerful. Nobody, nobody's going to be able to stop you. Nobody. I'm just saying. <laughs> This is so crazy guys because on snapchat I talk like this all the time because I feel like my snapchat family loves to hear this kind of stuff like I, I get so much feedback from them so I love giving it to them and I'm just so happy that um, I'm actually doing it here for my YouTube family as well and I know like that so many changes are happening and I wish everybody the best if you're not interested in what I have to say anymore because I know like a lot of my audience that I've built over the 10 years has been fashion and beauty there's so many other talented and beautiful individuals that can offer you their passion that they share through their creativity I am at a different path in my life right now and I wish you guys the best if you ever need some motivation come on over you are welcomed i love you guys i just love you guys so much and i just want to spread positivity and share this message if it helps you a little bit if you're having a bad day if you're going through a moment and something like this just like sparks something inside of you to flip it the other way around i'm actually living my purpose i'm living my purpose guys so those are my five reasons i want to hear from you guys I know there's so many avid readers out there. I want to hear from you guys on how, oh my gosh, you know what? I should make this a tag in the book community. I think it would be really great to make this into a tag and have other people respond in videos with how reading has changed their lives. I think it would be so interesting to read the feedback also from you guys in the comment section. So please leave me a comment down below how reading has changed your life. I'm going to start off this tag by tagging one person that inspired me to read. Okay, after I saw her passion for reading, I went all in ladies and she really truly is the reason why I started reading so much. Um, so her name is A. Marie. You guys know A. Marie. She's so incredible. She actually just posted a video called my top three books of 2018. And you know what? I think I'm going to do the same. So I'm going to go ahead and do that video next for you guys or one of the upcoming videos. I love A. Marie. I met her once. We went out to lunch and she was just the sweetest person that you could ever imagine and you know she's a pop star she's so talented so incredible and she was just so sweet and so humble and just so smart and intelligent I was just like yeah I was totally just like fangirling but obsessing over over her at the same time it's kind of like the same thing okay anyway she's super incredible check out her channel and show her some love I'm actually going to tweet at her and tell her that I'm tagging her in this video <laughs> Or you guys can go tell her to in her channel, guys. Can you tell I'm happy, guys? I'm so happy to be back with you and like sharing everything that I have been learning. That is my passion. I love it. That's why I have to be learning every single day. I know, I'm like super hyped up, but that's why I have to be learning because I took up reading because of you. Like literally because of you also, I took up reading because I want to offer you the best. And I want to be my best self because if I can work on myself and be the best me that I can be, I know that I'm going to be the best mom, the best wife, the best daughter, the best friend, the best YouTuber, the best businesswoman, the best everything. If you just go within, work on yourself. We all have things. We all have issues. Just go within. Go within. That is my advice to you, okay? So with that being said, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in to a new video in 2019 and we're kicking it off with amazing energy and super amazing positive energy that I'm sending your way. And that's how we're gonna keep the ball rolling through the rest of the year, okay? So I hope you have a blessed, beautiful, productive, growing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Feathers in my hair and Braids around my waist, I'm almost a bird